The crown jewel of the PGA Tour season is upon us. It's Players Championship Week. The deepest field in golf will meet the exacting challenge of TPC Sawgrass. With John Swantek, I'm Kelly Hawkins. It's a distinctive, mind-bending challenge crafted by the master himself. World Golf Hall of Famer Pete Dye makes you think on every single hole, with the final three holes always sort of drifting in the back of your mind. The finishing stretch, it offers a little bit of everything. Par 5 16th, yep, you can make eagle there. That's the best scoring chance over the final three holes because once you make that walk, Kelly Hawkins, of 100 steps or so from 16 to 17 T, your heart starts thumping, the Island Green is mocking you, daring you to take it on, so take your par and run at 17, especially Sunday with that treacherous hole location. Then at 18, nasty tee shot, intimidating, water hugging the fairway all the way down the left-hand side. You gotta make four to secure the Waterford Crystal on Sunday, good luck. And here's a look at how the 17th hole ranks among the short par threes on the PGA Tour. Considered as one of the most exciting holes in golf, it also is the most difficult par three on tour under 150 yards since 2003. The field, 655 strokes over par at 17 since 2003. This year's stellar field will be looking to provide the encore to last year's edition of the players, but that's gonna be one tough act to follow. Three hole aggregate playoff we used for the first time at 16, 17, and 18. It was Ricky Fowler, Kevin Kisner, Sergio Garcia. Eventually, it went to sudden death, back to 17. Yeah, things can definitely end suddenly there. Each shot that Fowler hit into the island green was more daring, more gutsy but it paid off with one final birdie to secure the most significant victory of Ricky's career. And don't forget, Fowler birdied the 18th hole in regulation just to get into that playoff. And then how did he respond to the unique pressure of handling the 17th in the playoff? Take a look for yourself. He delivered maybe the most clutch performance at the 17th in players history. This is a great test of golf. It's a true test of golf. It doesn't favor any particular style of player. You better be on your game for sure, but big hitters have won there. Short hitters have won there, so we're going to make a couple of different picks from, right. from two different realms. The guys who hit it short and straight, we'll pick somebody from that category, and then we'll pick a home run hitter as well. All right, I can do this. I got you. All right, go ahead. Short hitter, who do you think? David Lemur. He's like a local that. guy, so he's very comfortable with this course. T2 in 2013. He won at Muirfield Village last year. Really, really tough course. Currently 37th in the FedEx, tough rankings. Got a local guy for you as well, Russell Knox. Fourth in the point standings. Practices at TP Sawgrass all the time. 34th and 17th, the last two editions of the player. So he's trending in the right direction, drives it beautifully. 16th in driving accuracy on the tour. Third in greens and regulation. He's played terrific this year. I think he's really stoked to play here this week. But as far as long hitters go, Freddie, Phil, mm -hmm. Tiger, just to name a few, but I'm gonna say Rory McIlroy is my long hitter choice for the week. T4 at Wells Fargo came alive on Sunday. 10th in driving distance, three straight top 10 players finishes after he missed three straight cuts. So he definitely has his course figured out now. What about you? Yeah, that's a big deal. Rory sort of flipped the switch with his mental attitude about the golf course. I like Henrik Stenson. He missed the cut last week in Charlotte. That doesn't bother me so much. James Hahn missed eight straight cuts before he won last week in Charlotte. Henrik Stenson knows how to win here. He did in 2009. He's 11th in driving accuracy. That's really good for a player who hits it a long way. And he's eighth in greens and regulation. The putting for Henrik is a little stressful, but it might be negated by the fact that he hits so many greens. And these are tiny putting surfaces here this week. But I like Stenson's chances. And here's where you can watch the 43rd edition of the Players' Championship. PGA Tour Live has you covered with exclusive featured group content beginning Thursday and Friday morning at 7.30 a.m. Eastern in our premium content window. Golf Channel comes on the air at 1 o'clock beginning Thursday. They've also got the early coverage on the weekend before NBC Sports picks it up. PGA Tour Radio Live play-by-play -play coverage can be heard on Sirius XM, and it streams live at PGATour.com.